And here we are, video number three. We're back in the sample box again. And uh, Miss Fritz had an, a doctor's appointment today, so I didn't want to wear anything this morning. And when I got back, I thought I'm gonna be in the house all day uh, so I could try some, uh, some of my samples. And uh, this time I went and grabbed the, the Happy Land uh, bag. I had five Happy Land uh, fragrances left to do. I, I just got them actually, I bought them at the end of summer, but I was gonna wait till the fall to do them. So they were at the bottom of the box. But I thought today I'll go with two of them at least. And the two I picked are um, Green Irish Tobacco, and that's pretty cool. I, I love his bottles. His bottles, and even his sample bottles, he puts this little label on there. And this one has like a little Irish guy from, uh, you know, the, the, 18th, the, the 19th century. You know, may have come over the immigrant to New York and gangs in New York. Pretty cool. And then here it has a hippie in it, Paisley Sky. That's the other one. Paisley Sky's on this arm. And it sort of looks like Frank Zappa or something. I don't know. It looks like some hippie there. But uh, anyway, I, I do like that. Uh, I do like he, he has the labels and, and all that. And Mrs. Fritz loved both of these fragrances. She gave them both nines. And she wouldn't say which one she liked better, but I think she was leaning towards this, like I am, the Paisley Sky. She loved this, though, too. Me, on the other hand, I was sort of disappointed in this in that it didn't smell like my head told me it should smell. And that's the only disappointment I had. It smells good. I like, I like how it smells, but it doesn't smell like I thought it should, would smell. Because this one, when you look at the notes, you, you automatically say green Irish tweed, tobacco, vanille. Green Irish tweed, tobacco, vanille, put together. What's that smell like? And you, if you're, if you're into fragrances, you have an idea what that's going to smell like. You know, if, you, if, I, if, you know, if you didn't know what those two are, you wouldn't have an idea what they're going to smell like. But I have an idea in my head what they should smell like. And it didn't smell like that. Um, so, so right there, there's like a little, I'm like, whoa, what the hell is something with that? And what I got out of this, instead of, uh, you know, green Irish tweed, that, that nice green and that, or tobacco vanilla, that nice to, tobacco vanilla smell, um, I got sort of a, 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 a sweet bubblegummy cinnamon, you know? And, and it, it's nice. It's really nice. And now, you know, it's, it's, it's dried down a little bit. And I can get a tobacco sort of scent out of that. You know, I could get, you know, I can get somewhat of a tobacco. I don't get a vanilla smell out of it. I don't get that green Irish tweed anything smell out of it. Although it has the notes listed in there, you know. The notes are on his website. I did write them down. It's lemon verina, uh, iris, then tobacco, then the violet leaf. So, you know, the, the lemon verina, the iris, and the violet leaf would be the green iris tweed part. And then the tobacco, it has vanilla, tonka bean, and then it has uh, ambergris. And uh, I think that ambergris, I can get some of that because it has like that uh, saltiness a little bit. Yeah, but it's, it's a very nice, it's a very, very nice fragrance on its own if you weren't expecting what you were expecting. So, you know, I see why Miss Fritz gave it a nine. And like I said, I give it an eight. And, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a good fragrance. So, uh, and then the second one I did was Paisley Sky. And this one, um, I think, I th this is a lot of people's favorite, I think, you know. I know Joe, uh, the, the Dry Down Low Down. Uh, I think this is his favorite, you know, so. Uh, and I think it might, it was Ross's at one time. I know one of his videos, this was one of his favorites. But since, you know, that might have been an older video. Um, I like this one. This one I really do like. This one, I, I, I had no sense what it would smell like just looking at the notes. But as I smell it, I like this one. I really do like this one. And I'll read the notes to you. It's, it's Oud, and then it's that one I can't say, Lang Lang. And then it's Nutmeg, and then it's Lavender, Patchouli, and on his thing it says patchouli, patchouli. So I'm not sure about that. And then it's myrrh and musk. And um, and yeah, I get I get some of a sweetness like from the yang lang and the lavender. And then I get, um, you know, I get that oud and patchouli and the incense. And it just, I guess, paisley, it takes me on a little trip. And it's really nice. It's a nice little trip, actually. And it just bounces back and forth in there. Even on the, you know, in the dry down, it, it's, it's nice, really nice. So uh, that's the two I'm wearing. It's Paisley Sky. And this one is uh, Green Irish Tobacco. And I'm glad I didn't do all five that I have because 
you know, when I did these, anytime I do these, all of these are strong concentrations. Um, anytime I do an indie house like this, they're going to be stronger concentration. And, you know, they leave a sheen on your, on your hand. And so even these two might already be clashing, you know, in the air. Because when I was upstairs, I was sitting in one side of the room, and I had walked by, and, and Miss Fritz was in the kitchen. And as she came out, she said, oh, I could smell you. But it smelled good. So, and even a combination of these smelled good to her. So, anyway, they're the two I'm wearing. They're from Happy Land. And one last thing on this, I'll, I'll put this on my YouTube. Uh, for Happy Land, you know, Ross has the big Happy Land thing on the back. But there's lots of people that do Happy Land. But he has the big banner on the back. And he has a couple videos where he ranks these. But the one I like, um, you know, I have a list of my, my, my reviewers that helped teach me three years ago. And I would watch these reviewers all the time because of the algorithm, I guess. Because as I was watching them, they would be the ones suggested for me. And there's another reviewer there called Mike D Fragrances. And he had another name, but now it's Mike D Reviews, I think, or Fragrances. Reviews. He's got a beard and he's got a girlfriend named Kelsey. And he has three on Happy Land. And his were given to him by another reviewer. They weren't sent to him by Happy Land. They were given to him by another reviewer. And he mentions that, uh, that he got them. And then he gives his review uh, of all three. And you want to watch all three of his reviews and, 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 see, and see what he says about, you know, all of the, he did 10 fragrances in three videos. And, uh, and it's funny because, you know, uh, he, really gets, he really gets truly honest about, about them. And that's a reason why I follow him, you know. And what and and he get he's really good. He says good things about him too. But he gets honest about one part that like when you uh, once you're doing like a house like that and you're doing you're doing too many of of, a, of one one house. Sometimes it could be a little bit too much. And I think Ross said the same thing this week when he was doing Montel. So I, that's why I was saying it's kind of interesting. And I had that same feeling when I when I did like uh, eight days of vetiver. It was like, oh, I need to go to something. Like I just can't do vetiver anymore, and uh, and that's and 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 that could be because these are so strong, you know. And a lot of these are gourmandish too. Then the notes are, are pretty strong. So um, anyway, I thought I'd mention him, and, and I'll I'll probably link some of his videos up because he's he is kind of funny the way he says stuff, and uh, and I and I did like him, and I and I haven't you know, said much about him since then. One, and the other thing I do like about him. He has that where curly uh, for curly fragrances, where she does her putting in those little uh, video snippets and making you know something a joke. He does the same thing. He puts a little video in there and makes a joke. So I, I thought that was cool. And then the, the interaction between him and his girlfriend Kels. So I'll link some of his up there too. But you can also go to Ross and get his opinion on it. And then, like I said, there's many other people that are reviewers who who actually review this. I'm not a reviewer, right? So don't take my opinion, you know. Um, you know, this is my opinion. It's what I wear. And I gave you Mrs. Fritz's opinion. But don't ever buy on, on what I say. And, 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 and if you do, do what I do. I buy samples. I buy samples. I don't buy blind buys of, of something I don't know. Um, you know, something I can't go into an apartment store and smell. Uh, that's that's going to cost a little money. So... Anyway, I hope you all have a nice day. I hope you pray for peace, and I hope you, you know, help me be kind. I need to work on being kind. Even today, I was out at a restaurant, and uh, somebody was going a little bit too slow in the parking lot, and the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> that was me. So, so anyway, have a nice day, and I'll see you again uh, probably Sunday.